But first at 5.30, little sleeves rolled up today as a group of youngsters got a COVID shot. Good evening. I'm Alan Martin. I'm Juliette Goodrich. It is all part of an important clinical trial now underway on the peninsula. No, no, no. And Elgood no, may no, be just no. three years old. This is but after today, show. he'll be a pioneer. And El is about to get something yeah, kids his age yeah. don't yet get so a COVID vaccine. First, the jab. Oh. Followed by a quick reaction. I'll tell you. Thanks, all then. Then, the no band aid. And El is the nothing. first youngster to participate in a critical new study at Stanford Medical Center. His parents were motivated. Kids are uh, getting infected just as much as adults. Zena Good is Andel's mom. She's an immunologist at Stanford. Even though uh, not many kids die from this coronavirus, uh, it's still uh, a few every month, and you don't want that kid to be yours. In a few weeks, if his parents can catch him, Andel's seven-month-old baby brother, Soren, will also join the trial. He is uh, learning to crawl. The study will enroll nearly 150 kids. They all all get a real COVID shot, the Pfizer vaccine. The goal to determine what dose works best. At first, children will be given very low doses of the Pfizer vaccine. Pediatric infectious disease specialist Dr. Yvonne Maldonado is heading up the dosing trials. Those children will be observed for side effects and reactions. And if those are acceptable um, dosing, uh, then they will go on to the next highest dosing. Once a safe and tolerable vaccine is established, a larger study in small children will be launched. 25% of our population are children. Infectious disease expert Dr. John Swartzberg at Cal says to get herd immunity, kids need to get vaccinated. So that they don't spread it to people who are more likely to get sick. Mom and dad, grandma and grandpa. As for the good family, they adore their little boys and would like to resume a more normal life. I feel like we all need to do our part to make it go away. Now, this study is already fully enrolled, but a larger study for the same vaccine in kids age 5 to 12 will be conducted later this spring. And for more information, just visit our website, kpix.com.